Now lipids are used for many, many different functions in living organisms. They're used as an energy store to make cell membranes, they're used for insulation, they're used for protection of organs, they're used for waterproofing. Um, they are molecules that are made out of carbon, hydrogen and oxygens, um, which is the same as carbohydrates. They're made out of carbon, hydrogen oxygens, but lipids have a much lower proportion of oxygen. Now fats and oils are groups of lipids. Fats are solid at room temperature when oils are liquid at room temperature. They are made from two types of molecules, glycerol and fatty acids. Fatty acids, as you can see, are long chains of carbons and hydrogens and with a carboxylic acid group on the end, the C double bond O bond OH. That's what gives it the name, the acid. And a glycerol there has got uh, three carbons and three hydroxyl groups coming off there. Fatty acids vary in length and bond structure, but always end with a carboxylic acid group at the end. So the general formula would be R for the carb hydrocarbon chain and then COOH. If the carbon atoms in the fatty acids are all joined with a single bond, then they're what we call saturated fatty acids. And they would have the general formula CNH2NO2. Um, but if they have one or more double bonds between the carbon atoms, then it is an unsaturated fatty acid. If it has one double bond, it's what we call a monounsaturated fatty acid. And if it has more than one, it's what we call a polyunsaturated fatty acid. Saturated fatty acids have a much higher melting point than unsaturated fatty acids. Now to make a fat or an oil, you need to combine glycerol with one or more fatty acids. To do this, you're going to do something called a condensation reaction. Now, we're going to come back to condensation reactions a lot throughout these videos on the chemistry of life. But a condensation reaction forms a new bond and uh, to join molecules together, and water is actually removed in the process. Now, the bond that we're going to form here is what's called an ester bond. So, here is a glycerol, and what we can do is we can combine it with this fatty acid by removing water from here. And that makes our ester bond. And that is now what we call a monoglyceride. Now, if you do this three times, then you're going to end up with a triglyceride. Now, if you wanted to split the same bond again, you can do an opposite reaction to a condensation reaction, which is called a hydrolysis reaction. And that is the addition of water, which will break that bond. Now, the function and behavior of the fat depends on which fatty acids are used to make the triglyceride because we could use um, monounsaturated or saturated fatty acids, different combinations, and that will give the fat or the oil a different property. There is another group uh, of very important uh, lipids that you should know about which are called phospholipids. Now, if you add a phosphate group to the glycerol and two fatty acids, then you end up making these phospholipids. Um, there are different types of phospholipids because, um, for example, some have an additional chemical group bonded to the phosphate, um, uh, something like a choline group, which actually contains nitrogen. So the different types of phospholipid, again, depending on what is bonded with that phosphate group and also uh, what types of fatty acids are bonded to the glycerol. But they are really, really important molecules because they are used to make cell membranes. The phosphate head is actually a polar molecule. It attracts to water and the tails repel water. They are hydrophobic. Um, so the, the heads are hydrophilic. They like water, water loving, and the tails are hydrophobic. And what that means is that the only way they can assemble themselves is for the tails to point in on each other and for the heads to point on the outside. Um, and that is what makes what we call a phospholipid bilayer. Now you're gonna learn a lot more about membranes um, in uh, the other topics. What are these functions of lipids? Well, firstly, they are of excellent energy store. Triglycerides store about three times as much energy as the same mass of carbohydrate. They're also really good at waterproofing. Um, as, you should, as you probably know, water and oil don't mix. Uh, lipids are hydrophobic, so many organisms use a layer of oil or wax on their surface to keep out the water. Fats are used in insulation. Lipids are very good at keeping in heat energy. Therefore, they are used to insulate animals, um, for example, blubber in whales. Fats are also a really important part of the diet. Fat often has a bad name. Well, actually, certain fats, um, particularly uh, unsaturated fats, are very, very good for you. 
um, uh, saturated fats, which tend to come from animals, um, are the ones that tend to be quite bad for you. Um, and these are the ones that can actually end up being quite a significant risk factor for coronary heart disease. Again, we're going to be covering that a lot more in uh, section 3.1 of the pre-U course.